Croda has delivered a record first half performance, largely driven by the strategic moves that we've made over the last 12 months. Three key areas that have driven this performance. Firstly, our existing business. We've seen strong underlying growth in our existing business, benefiting from significant investment together with increased innovation. End consumer demand has also continued to recover with the additional benefit of customer restocking in line with strengthening economic conditions. Secondly, acquisitions. 2020 was a year of significant investment with over £1 billion invested in both inorganic and organic growth. Well, we have really seen the benefit of that, notably the acquisitions of Ibachem and Avanti, which are opening up some very exciting and significant opportunities for Croda. Thirdly, Life Sciences, which has delivered an excellent performance, with our healthcare business performing exceptionally well. So very encouraging progress, testament to the strategy that we've been focused on accelerating over the last 12 months. Our people have continued to demonstrate remarkable personal resilience almost 18 months into the crisis, particularly as a growing number of employees are having to self-isolate at a time of increasing demand. I'd like to thank each and every one of the Croda team for their continued commitment to serving our customers and looking after one another. So sales increased 39% on half one 2020, a period which was of course impacted by COVID. So important to point out that this performance is also 10% ahead of the first half 2019. Including acquisitions, reported profits are up 50% versus 2020 and by 35% versus 2019. The group margin is also ahead of the prior year, despite the acquisition of Ibachem, where margins are lower. As a result, we've had a healthy increase in the interim dividend, continuing Croda's 29-year long record of dividend growth. Starting with consumer care, personal care continued the progress that we saw through the second half of 2020 but at a faster pace driven by beauty actives and stronger demand in the Americas. Increased innovation focused on natural ingredients and biotechnology is enabling us to capture growing consumer demand. We are very pleased with Ibachem's progress, which saw double digit sales growth, and we're on track with our synergy capture plan. Life Sciences has been outstanding and continues to exceed our expectations. We've seen strong momentum across all areas, including crop care, where underlying sales grew double digit. The highlight being healthcare, where sales of adjuvants and specialty excipients both grew by more than two thirds. Our acquisition of Avanti and investment in developing our capability of lipid systems has been a major benefit. We now expect to generate at least $200 million of sales from lipid systems this year, principally for our major COVID-19 vaccine contract, an increase on the $125 million that we communicated back in March. We've also seen a strong recovery in performance technologies due to the broader industrial end market recovery and our exposure to next generation sustainability driven applications. Underpinning our strategy are two things in particular, sustainability and innovation. Both are critical to our future growth. Sustainability trends are increasing rapidly, driven by consumer demand and regulatory change. We're responding to that both by accelerating the transition to sustainable ingredients, but also through relentless innovation to meet consumer needs and to meet customer demand. Sustainability together with innovation will drive our growth for many years to come. Our strategy in each of our three segments is unchanged to expand life sciences, to strengthen consumer care and refine performance technologies. We're really pleased with the progress that is being made against each of these objectives. The strategic review of performance technologies is progressing well and we continue to expect the conclusion at the end of this year. The strong performance reflects the benefits of prior year decisions and investments, as well as the demand environment continuing to improve over the second half of 2020. We're investing in fast growth, high value niches, and are focused on sustainability and bigger, bolder innovation to drive that growth.